Hello Church, Bob Myers today as we're sharing out of uh, Psalm 57. Psalm 57, and this, uh, the heading on it says, This is a psalm uh, of David when he fled from Saul in the cave. And there were a couple of occasions when that happened, so we're not sure which one it is. But David is in a cave and writes this psalm, this song that becomes part of the songbook of Israel. And uh, you can be forgiven if you just read the first verse and stay there. Because it's a great verse. The rest of the chapter is good too. But the, verse 1. Be merciful unto me, O God, be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities pass by. Wow. What a prayer. What a, what a, what a thought from David. Be merciful to me, O Lord. I'm going to hide under the shadow of your wings till these calamities pass by. David is in a cave, and Saul is out to take his life. And, and he says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust in the shadow of your wings until these calamities pass by. Do you feel like maybe we've been in a cave for the last year and a half praying that this calamity will pass by? Or maybe you would like to go into a cave until these calamities pass by. There are calamities in the world. It's not important that we be in a cave. The important thing is that we trust under the shadow of his wings, that we are under that sheltering embrace of the Lord. Uh, and then David goes on, he says, I'll cry unto the Lord Most High. He shall send from heaven. David has a lot of hope here. He's in a cave. He's by himself. Saul has an army and is set on taking his life. But David has a lot of hope. And his hope is in the Lord because he knows that God plus one is a majority. And verse 5 and verse 11 are repeated. They're praise songs, praise verses. Verse 5 is kind of a, maybe a faith statement here. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. You know, God, David is praising the Lord and exalting the Lord. And then uh, he, he speaks in verse 6 that the ones coming after him fell in a, net, in a pit that they dug for him. Uh, 7, my heart is fixed, O God. My heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. David is determined. He's going to praise God, regardless of how things may look. Um, I will praise thee, verse 9, O Lord, among the people. For thy mercy is great, verse 10. And then verse 11 repeats 5, but it's more of a victory call now. Not a faith statement, but a victory call, because David has praised God and has established his heart, and now he stands in a place of victory. Even though he's still in the cave, even though Saul is still after him, he still stands in a place of victory because he's standing with the Lord. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. David understands and realizes that his security, his hope, his peace rest in God. May you find that same place of conviction and strength today as you study through Psalm 57.